Hello, my name is Lucky Mayo. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Rise from the Ashes. Because why not? Oh no! It's a guy with a knife! Oh! That's right. This is it's this episode. Maya this time around, so we're gonna get a new assistant. For a minute. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. That girl. Awfully vague there, Phoenix, right? Why do I come here to this office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are! Finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, it only really matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. She's dead, buddy. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. So you are... the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. right. You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. Um, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking any cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? That is true. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time. But, please, you have to help. It's my sister. Maya! Ow. My heart. Maya? Could it be? I mean, they do kind of have the same hair. The only difference is, uh, she's brown-headed and Maya is a brunette. What do you call someone with brown hair? Really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator. Emma, was it so you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of a uh, jumpy or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, you're only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. That's great, my, I mean, Emma. My work is becoming quite well known, at my age no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. <laughs> so what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. I don't think you know how science works. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Fey, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. 16, still kid. Still, it's good to have a goal. 
albeit a very unusual one. I believe in investi- I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah! Sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. Your sister. I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. Looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister? R relation. My sister asked for me specifically. This Mia Fey person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to me if I ever needed a fence attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, me as a woman. Now that you mention it, it is, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. She's very, uh, smiley about that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get down to the detention center. And talk to Lana Sky. February 22nd, detention center, visitor's room. Emma? Hmm, wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's got quiet all of a sudden, since we arrived. Guard? I thought I told you I didn't- Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. <laughs> Sorry, man, it's just your sister. No excuses. Why did you not want to raise this year? Hmm? Uh, understood, man. What was that all about? Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Uh, look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Gee, bae. I love Lana Sky. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Don't look like it. Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Mia and uh, Maya. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? No, I just have something in my eye. There's something you should know from the start. Wh which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Ray? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In the in your subordinate's car trunk. I knocked over my mic. Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. So who's the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. You didn't kill Gumshoe. Well, that would suck to find out when the case would be Gumshoe. Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means. Don't you? Uh-oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. I know exactly who did it, though. And my favorite... By far, this is my favorite case of this game. 
This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. So, you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. So why'd you kill somebody? I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job, and they manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. In a nutshell, huh? Not very nutty. That's an awfully large nutshell. That's what I said! Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana, what happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It, was, it, it wasn't law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different... She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. What? Yes! <laughs> Excuse me? Int intellectually attracted. Lana was tough for class. Oh. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright. Excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's just safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but, Lana! Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. <laughs> here come the fight. Here come the waterworks again. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. Oh, my heart! <laughs> I, I hate you, Lana. Ooh. Oof. Hate from a sibling. Oof, indeed. Mr. Wright? Y yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The, res the rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. Oh, There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know? I want to make her angsty. Angsty, but enthusiastic. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She, she used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. Nah, she's not, she's not enough to be angsty. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay! Alrighty. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it, where it all happened? And who actually killed the detective is, um, I forget his name, but he's one of the coolest characters by far. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone, keep up the good work. Emma, Emma, don't draw attention to us. <laughs> hey, what are you do? What are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No, I'm saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. 
I'm trying to not stand out too much here. See? Hey there! You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? P partner? Hey! Actual second murderer. What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folk gotta learn to keep keep them doggies tied down, partner. Mr. Marshall! Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Looky here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cat die out in the desert dream? You want to? What's this guy talking about? You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambi. So like Bambi. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. I'll take the wallet. What's this, a wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything in the crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? It sounds like theft to me. Wallet hastily stuffed into pocket. A foldable wallet found at the crime scene. There seems to be something inside. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now look at the court record. Yep. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now let's start examining from every angle. Oh look, I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with a press of the X button. This... This is an ID card. An ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it. Realistically, yeah, it's not science. It's just common sense. Goodman's ID added to the court record. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Alright, you can slide. Hello! Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, pardon, it looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. The sheriff! Like I said before, this here's our claim. You'd best be moseying in all along, unless you're fixing to bite the bull. Ah, scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who wants that car? Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the buddy in the saddle, eh? Please? No problem, partner. That time for vittles anyway. Vittles. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. I might just find you a cerveza you like. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Note to self. Look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room 1202 at the high prosecutor's office. Yes, we should. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right. Great. Great! Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Where you two all sit? Us? Oh, it's her! What's this? She couldn't be... You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene. Hello. Half and half, was it? Oh! Uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, y yes Some crunchy goodness coming at you. 
Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. Siri is often the same without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you... You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the cough-up queen are over. Snitch. Yeah. Cough-up. Huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burning into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? She is also Bay. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. <laughs> what? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean, you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, queen. Please, cough up, queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Angel Star... Uh uh, like, like a porn star? <laughs> or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes, ma'am. Yipe, she means it. Let's talk. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who hunt this den of inequity. Evil ones. Prosecutors, right. E evil ones. Prosecutors. They have no qualms at all about blackmailing the name of- about blackening the, the, the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They give an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss... Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough up queen. Ew. The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. That's Edgeworth's car. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. R really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lips lady has a thing against prosecutors. Let's talk about you! Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no! Only true... I can never say that word. Connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone the kind you can only tell someone who has tried general so's trilobite trilobite lunch set <laughs> never mind you went i don't even want to i don't even want to appreciate part of the of trilobite's flavor anyway i come here every day to sell lunches my boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office y your boyfriend see the security room over there the glass walled booth I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. What'd you witness? So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was fascinating. It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? 
the sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lum Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course, it's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunch boxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels, she always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha! <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen! I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Alright, let's, uh, go see Edgy. February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, Room 1202. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job! What a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What's that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever his office is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once, and... Right, her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> N no did I... No. It was just Mr. Wright here, he... Hey! Don't blame me! We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder. A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? What? Y y your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. What's up, Edgy boy? So the body was found in your car. Go ahead. Say it right. You think I did it, don't you? I literally just saved you last year. <laughs> After you went up through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait. No, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So, you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir! Emma Sky. It, uh... It's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember, you've really grown. I'll admit, it was, a, it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand- Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. <laughs> you? Mr. Edgeworth? Damn. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? The, uh, Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. <clears throat> Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! <laughs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that. That's bronze? Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. 
two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt s some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be, to be specific, it was the knife I keep in the, the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. The murder weapon, usually in Edgeworth's toolbox, traces a victim's blood, no print. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I do, and I love it. Um, now what? No? wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Prosecutors. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K -k -k King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors, kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. King of Prosecutors trophy out to the court record. Hmm. Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be king, the King of Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors. Please, stop saying that. That still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? My, my, my! What an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it! Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside it, a giant steel samurai! Wendy Old Bag! Wow, I want one! Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Nah. Um, I don't think so. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. Nice desk, easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't, he'll sue you. <laughs> oh, tea. Ooh, cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawers below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this! Royal Blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Whoa! These are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. Uh, I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Gumshoe. Strange. Why did I just picture, de picture de Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Hey Edgeworth, you wanna play chess? Hey, chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pond. Huh? 
Those horse horses are mounted nice. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding the pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. It's a beautiful desk. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make you want to curl up and take a nap. But he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. I bet in the morning he has soft sofa hair and little creases in his cheek from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool? Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. Must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. All right, edgy boy. I think I've exhausted everything in here. Nope. Whoa. What a view. It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump out this window, the time until impact with the ground would be... Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know, I guess. Nothing else? Uh, nope. What about the ladder? Look, a door! This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. Uh, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, we need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Phone. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Aha! A ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. <laughs> that. Partition. This wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know! This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how it makes any difference either way. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here on its is on its side. Wait, I know! I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. You'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drone to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Ah, uh, well, I mean, Emma. Emma. Emma, baby. Listen here, baby girl. Um, you're very, uh, very suspicious. Being excited about a murder. I mean, Maya was pretty excited about a murder, but that was only because it involved the steel samurai. Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe? Oh. Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Ooh, what's this? Nothing I can press. Man. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. 
Well, maybe it's both, kind of a dual purpose. Aha! The theory of relativity. I am. What? Uh. I've got to write this down. Ah, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know, was Mr. Relativity, Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Relativity, are you sure that was his name? Um, I got nothing else to do here. some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks, she didn't even look at me. Hmm, you must have to brew with the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infused the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma! Exquisite! The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. Can I point this to you? Why don't you take a look at this? About this card. Most Dell vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, 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 this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? It's like showing a fine honey hand to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? Maybe I got something to Edgeworth? Hey, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. But Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, we'll take it for sure, won't he? <sighs> Wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. <laughs> okay. What do I do? Where do I go? <laughs> I don't know! I'm so supposed to do this. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive the, that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works. Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. 
prosecutor doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Yeah, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for f solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of cases, in, of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing, a ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and re awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... Hey! Excuse me, but this is just anywhere on the premises! I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir! I've got your report, sir! Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Pr Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir! No name of that kind, sir! None in this report, sir! I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid is not very tight, is it? I made a clear request to, to the c police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow. So don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, sir, but... No, sir, but, but, sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your... Where is this, sir? Give me your name! Uh, yes, yes, sir. M Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. B -b sir, I didn't know. Poor guy, it looked like he was absent on the day to give out brains and good luck. <laughs> That's great. Right. Yes, sir. Caught me off guard. <laughs> As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. <laughs> I love Meekins. Meekins is the best character in this one. Hey, gumshoes right there! February 22nd, Police Department entrance. What's up, Emma? Whew, we're finally here! Why would they put the Police Department so far away from the Prosecutor's Office? Beats me, that took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. The Police Department, huh? I've only ever been to Criminal Affairs next door. Hmm. Hold on, what's that? That's the mascot. Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Oh, wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. We're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the Blue Badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the Blue Badger. Uh-oh. He noticed. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> hey, hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Sorry. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. 
why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh, me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister! Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! <laughs> she is so obsessed with science. Yes, sir! Uh, oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Yeah? So what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of, out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? <laughs> then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into the criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief, detect chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the big badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal! Don't you? What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. What, didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's... I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Um. So this ID card belonged to the victim. He was a detective, like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but word is that the chief prosecutor Sky called him out there to uh, the parking lot. Alon is confessing as much. Mr. Edgeworth's car stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive the Chief Prosecutor's guy to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I'm, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth? The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Are you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers? Because of the rumors. He's in a tough spot again. Again.
Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there was there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under that gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new room. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one that has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Right. Detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. Uh, I was wondering about that, uh, what? The Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. Your masterpiece? You made this detective gun shoot? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery power, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the battery dies. Poor blue batteries. Words, Lucky. Poor blue badger faded to da dance until he drops. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... what was his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jack Marshall's just a regular officer. From, from West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Received from Detective Gumshoe. Allows Bearer to investigate the crime scene. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. February 22nd, Prosecutor's Office, Underground Parking Lot. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the sh shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh. Oh! Still here. Ah, uh, hello! Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its n herd. Dogs don't have herds. They have packs. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right into right in this platoon. It's a letter of introduction from the from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe. Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. Holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look where it should say letter of introduction. It says invitation. <laughs> ah, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. <laughs> Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right, he's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me... Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our goal strike. 